Today, we're taking care of the front shocks on my 17 Dodge Ram. Now, this thing has got a little bounce in the front, about as much as a set of double Ds on a good treadmill. And while we might like looking at those, trying to drive a truck that's floating down the road, is not cool. So we're gonna throw some 5100 Bill Steins on it. Let's get it in the shop and get her done. China for the piece of crap. Oh, it's real. Well, guys, I might have already found what was going on. Here's the driver's side. You know, everything looks fairly normal. This truck is leveled. It's got a little, you know, looks okay. But over here on the passenger side I need some light we got the Bluetooth Bill Stein this thing is mint see that Bluetooth she ain't hooked up to nothing but they don't ride that well so we're gonna fix that Use a three quarter on the big nut and it's like a quarter inch, but we're gonna use the uh, proper tool and that's an adjustable. Hold this, loosen this nut, and there's two 10 millimeter bolts on the bottom and our Bluetooth shock will just fall right on out of there. Get on there. Don't make me get down. Is it not a 10? So imagine that, a uh, 10 millimeter socket. 10 millimeter sockets don't fit on uh, 13 millimeter bolts. Just so you know. One Bluetooth shock. Mint. Ka clank it found bottom. So here's a good shot of our Bluetooth shock and piece of crap extender. She ain't got no fluid in her. She's actually pretty busted. That's good. Get it all over the shop. This thing is mint. I'm glad I've vacuumed and swept before uh, doing this. That's just going to make sure the floor don't rust, so it'll be fine. So here's our new Bill Steins. These are the 5100 series. They're a step above the Bluetooth models. You know, they come with stickers. They got the shock. They got this fancy boot. They come with this stuff and whatever these are. Get out of here. We don't need that. And I believe a guy just goes kind of like uh, you put this deal on. And then you take this thingy, stick it on there. Then I believe this goes on there. Well, that ain't right. Maybe this goes through there. Hmm. Yeah. 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 This is the. This is an expert. Expert uh, parts washer here. So slide that on there and then you just uh, 
up inside the truck there and uh, she's done. So let's do that. We'll say it sure would be nice if the old <laughs> mod uh, really did work, but you know, I still got to get under the truck and uh, do this. We're going to engage the old man grunts right now. Oh! Old man grunts. Oh, make it seem worse than it is. Oh! Oh, having to get under a truck. Oh, it's not that bad. All them ribs makes it tighten the hole. <laughs> in your home. There we go. Now you just kind of feel your way into the hole. Spin her around correctly. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Now, you got to be a magician and grab these two bolts. Get them started. Headphone warning. Zip them in. Oh, I'm such a lazy mechanic. D wants for the win. Now that now that we got the correct length shock on this thing for leveled vehicles, look at that. It's nearly perfect. Now, there we go. Throw your bushing on there. Something like such. That feels pretty tight. Poly lock is getting a good bite on that. We're gonna call this side done. So I was already uh, getting in this one here loose, and I noticed that noticed that the uh, extender uh, ain't even attached to the shock. So we had dual Bluetooth shocks on the front of this thing. No wonder it was driving like crap. So let's get it loose. if I can squeeze this up in here without getting under the truck because lazy. Oh. I'm gonna have to jack this thing up. Damn. If you're worried about the truck falling, uh, it's got jack stands and I'm a highly trained amateur. That's good. We don't need that. Oh, for real, where'd it go? Get up in there. Well, this is rather annoying. Why are you being so difficult? We'll just leave them kind of loose for now. Push them in. Snuggie loose. That's tight enough. Am I going the wrong way? Yes. Ah, what a rookie. I told y'all, I'm a highly trained amateur. And that's an amateur move. Trying to loosen up a bolt, you're trying to tighten. You know. 
you want it to feel about like it's about to either strip or break and then stop. Well guys, that wasn't too bad, now was it? We got them all on there. We got them snuggy loose. We don't need to ride with this. This one over here is mint. We got our expert rust prevention on our concrete and that shocks on. So let's throw the rubber back on this thing and take her for a spin, see how she drives. You know, if you know of a better way of putting tires on that doesn't require sitting on the ground, drop it in the comments below and I'd like to see it. Let me stand right in front of the camera. So this was just too good not to get on video. This is what came out of the driver's side. Remember it had come loose. It had come loose from the extender. And here's our custom Bluetooth model. It's a... Uh, she's a... Uh, custom unit. You can special order them from Bill Stein. They may or may not send them to you though. Not factory. Well all there is to do now is to get in the old girl and back her out of here and see if the front end scrubs down a little bit because she's got the Cali squat and I'm not really into that look. We'll try to back it out and not get stuck in the yard. I've done that a time or two. Well guys, here she is all done. Looks like a truck again. Drives a lot better too. Well guys, we got the old truck licked. She's driving perfect. No longer doing the old bouncy bounce, but she's got a little California lean. We'll deal with it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you would, think about subscribing and hitting the thumbs up notification. We'll see y'all next time.